Lance, you knew full well I wouldn't have bought that ticket had I explicitly known you were seeing other people. You felt entitled to my body because I trusted you. You felt entitled to my body because I had publicly supported you. You, you violated my trust. I almost want an STD test. You say one thing and you do another and I have no idea what I need to believe from you anymore. Please don't cancel and please don't ruin his life. I think he can genuinely do better. And I want to give him the opportunity to not be a misogynist. That was really powerful, girl. It was really powerful. Every feminist who came before you was coming out of their grave to give you a gold star. Man, I hate performative white women. Like, it is the worst. And I don't mean to be racist, but you know, I'm so glad every time I think about how I'm not related to these people. Okay. So, um, ahem. <clears throat> So, okay, basically, this is, she said, I almost want an STD test. I know, girl, girl, how about you should get an STI test before you be putting your dick in people? Everybody, everyone everybody, think about that? Not to be misogynist. Honestly, that was so fucking cringe, Moonlight. You're so right. I honestly, pfft, babes, babes, uh, what is this, right? Like, we grown, right? Are we grown yet? Maybe not. Okay, so, like, maybe not. I was a hot mess in my 20s. I am not even going to try to pretend like I was not fucking on the internet with my messy ass relationship a few years ago too so like I'm not here to throw real shade okay but this is this is not cute this is not cute right like she knows she cute but she not that cute you know the women saying please don't ruin his life with a barrel uh, a barely contained smirk lifetime movie character bra legit though um perform it's just so performative bra it's so performative and it's so annoying okay so there's that video okay bye this is his apology bra hello beautiful people I just want to take a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is the bitch using a filter? Y'all, is the bitch using a filter? <laughs> to apologize. <laughs> to Chelsea. <laughs> I'm very sorry that our friendship has come to this. I'm very sorry for not being the effective communicator that I wanted to be. And most importantly, I'm extremely sorry for the pain that I've caused you. Nothing I can say will remedy that. And to everyone else, I'm sorry I let you down. I do hope, though. You will give me the grace to grow and learn from this opportunity. Have a good day. Okay, okay. In comparison to hers, what do we think about his? Now, he ended up deleting this because apparently, like, people were coming at him for the lack of emotion or whatever. So, lame. Okay, we hate him. Next. Okay, this one is really hard to get through. It was really, it's only two minutes and it was very hard for me to get through. So y'all get ready with this. Okay, this is killing me, bro. Also, I disagree with this. I hate this. Look at this. It, this is, this is fucked up. For all the people who are like, Max is a, a rape, or Max, sorry. Oh my God. Lance, Ma modern warrior, is a rapist or sex offender. Like, okay, calm the fuck down, you sensitive cunts calm down like that's crazy okay the man cheated everyone fucking relax I don't think like being a player or being a fuck boy is cheating or like cheating is like rape like everyone slow the fuck down this woman consented to flying to his place and having unprotected sex unprotected sex with him so I don't want to hear any of these rape accusations so fucked up to say actually I'm gonna cover this too because it's like that is not the energy we want to go into 2023 with wait 2022 with <laughs> I know Amanda sex offender that escalated quickly I know it's like what no 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 and that is so crazy <clears throat> he's like saying I hurt you you can't take it back take that back why does he pause like that honestly because he's like being performative okay also Ronnie with the super chat thank you so much thirst trapping an apology for cheating is a choice bros legit though um okay ready I like him more than her honestly I like neither of them <laughs> Here, let's watch this. She's going to reply to his apology. Hello, beautiful people. I just want to take a second to apologize. To Chelsea. 
I'm very sorry that our friendship has come to this. Our friendship, our friendship, not fuck ship, our friendship. I'm very sorry for Brock. You were inside her, Brock. You were inside her. I may be pregnant with your child. Oh my god! And you are apologizing for your communication. Hey, cunt to kiss? That's why you don't have unprotected sex? Guys, she's sus. Do not put your dick in her. If you are a man and you are interested in this woman, do not put your dick in this woman. She has irresponsible sex. She's emotionally unhinged and she fucking kills her babies. Do not trust this woman. She will get pregnant with your child for no fucking reason, apparently. Fuck her. I have an ache that lives deep in my womb, Lance. And sometimes I just cry from my soul about it. And I sent you so many messages opening up to you about that. You knew. You knew. You fucking knew. You fucking knew. Where is her tears, bitch? If I don't see some goddamn tears, I don't want to hear it. Mm. You fucking knew. I never would have opened up my body that intimately to you. With the trauma. Uh, bitch cunt, you literally flew to his house to have unprotected sex. Girl, your legs spread open for the world, girl. Don't even pretend. I know a slut when I see one. I'm here for it. You should have better ethics. Read the ethical slut. Girl, read the ethical slut. So at least you can be smart about your sluttiness. Destiny, giving up with the super chat. Thank you so much, girl. Protect your seed. Protect your womb. Amen. That gives Amen. me anxiety attacks. My anxiety that manifests in my stomach and I puke. Puke, girl. I want to see it. From before. that trauma. I still puke. Puke! I, I want to see the puke. I still feel multiple times enough from the anxiety and the trigger responses from that, from that, from that experience. And you knew, and you knew the whole time. Don't you dare try to apologize for your communication. Why don't you apologize for taking advantage of my vulnerability to get in my pants? I can tell they both suck at sex. I'm gonna say it right now. No chemistry. They suck at sex. 100%. It was bad sex. I'm going to put it out there. That's what I'm what I'm Look, I was right about him being a cheater in the future cuz leftist men be out here trying to get pussy, and I'm going to make another statement. I bet they're both bad at sex. Ooh, I said it. You knew I never would have ever slept with you without a condom <laughs> had I known what was going on. I found out <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> I doubt it, girl. Girl, girl, look at Come on, I would I would bet my whole fucking career this girl has sex unprotected often. There's no fucking way. She didn't even get an STI test beforehand, right? Didn't she say she's now thinking about getting an STI test afterwards? She might be pregnant with Lance's baby. That poor colonized child. That poor colonized child, bruh. I found out on TikTok, Lance. <gasps> oh my God, it was so cringe. Okay, we're not done. We're not fucking done. I'm so sorry. Listen. <laughs> okay. This is serious now, kids. Okay. Listen to me when I say this. You all watched me without reservation, without hesitation, without menstruation. You saw me flirt so obviously with Steven the other day. Steven was flirting with me. We have this banter. But I mean it when I say this. I genuinely have already like talked to Steven and Melina and stuff in the background about like what I'm here for. My intentions are pure. I do not want to marry Steven. I like his marriage with Melina. I am not trying to thirst after him in any other way than like being slutty and flirty online in a safe space and slash being friends. Like I want to be friends with them. I want to be homies. I like their energies. I think they're both cool as individuals. So like let me tell you, as a, someone who is such a slut on the internet and will put myself out there in a flirtatious way, this thirst trap, this thirsty ass like TikTok you were about to see is so funny. It is so funny. And I am only gay judging you, sis, because I'm not trying to be out here pretending like I'm not cringe on the internet as well. I am cringe too. I am cringe too. Me, Brittany, very cringe, very cringe. But this, she's an American. Okay, y'all, or at least she's not British, which she has to put on her profile because of the way she talks. Please, what white women do we know who love to pretend they're not white? How many can we name? Alec Baldwin's wife just had that whole thing where she pretended she was Spanish for 10 years or whatever it was. So funny. This next video, though, y'all, I found this. This was from, is that the date right here? Like this little section where it says 1-5. Is that the date? I don't know. But this was a while. This is a second, a second, 
this is a while back. This is, bef- you know, when she was like making TikToks to get his attention. And apparently like they started following each other when he had like 30,000 followers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So hold on. Let me just like read your comments real fast. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Wait, sadistic atheist says she's not pregnant. She'll claim to have lost the baby before her time to start showing is reached. This is the rejection revenge attack. You know, it sounds like something Trisha would do. Right? Okay, like... Okay, okay. Yes, like, I don't know sadistic atheist. That's a pretty, like... It's, it's like, that's the thing. Is like, she reminds me a lot of Trisha, so God bless. But okay, here we go. Watch this video. Who's the man? You're the man. Strong, healthy, black man. Huh. Okay, wait, are you guys... Can you read the text? It says, when the racist can't think of any racial slurs for native people, so he calls you the N-word. That's Lance's original video, and she's making a stitch to it. Dun, 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 dun. So that's how I met Lance Sosi. About this time a year ago, he was quietly making lip sync videos. Because in real life, he's high key very shy. We became friends when he was at about 30k followers. Fast friends at that! In fact, I can't remember the last time I became friends with someone so quickly. Cause he's wonderful. He is exactly who he says he is. And I am so fucking proud of him. The confidence and the voice that he has found in the last year, the fact that it's resonated with three million people, he unequivocally deserves it. And to all the colonizer cunts spreading ridiculous rumors right now, trying to ruin his beautiful life. Fuck you, you jealous dweeb. You're full of shit, and your mom is also your cousin. Bye now. <laughs> Who's the man? Legit, this is why colonizers deserve to win. Because if this is their women, mm, oh god. Like, I, is she American? I don't know. Wait, I think she is American. On her, hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, oh my god. Look at this. And she claims she's queer as fuck. Um, okay. I believe you. Oops. I believe you are a white queer woman. I believe that. I believe you are a white queer woman. <laughs> Can you guys see that on your screen? Hold on. Let me pull up my OBS correctly here. Yeah. It says I'm not British, like, on her profile, which means she knows she sounds like a retard when she talks. Like, fucking idiot white person pretending they have more interesting things about them when they don't. It's like, hubby, sit the fuck down. <laughs> 